Hello everyone and welcome back to Potty Planet Entertainment. So, today is a short DVD update but also kind of a special one because I built that all by myself with no help. I mean, I built it wrong at first so I had to take it apart and do it again, but I did it. So yes, as you can see, I have built a new DVD shelf right here. Uh, Put some, hang on, let me flip the camera. So I put some new things up here. Uh, some of the stuff I've had in my background before, uh, but now I got somewhere better to put them. Uh, rearranged this over here, put up these little nifty guns that I got here. Fake guns, by the way, they're not real. You can tell because there's screws in them. And uh, it's the exact same thing as this one. The exact same thing, I, but now I have two of them. So this should last me Probably till 2023, if I'm going to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited to have this here. Um, just, it, it feels nice to be able to uh, take these up off the floor and actually put them up here and display them. Um, it feels nice to have more room to expand on. I might sell some of these one day. I just, I don't know a place where I can get a good price on them other than a pawn shop. So maybe I'll take someone to a pawn shop one day. But, uh... Clearly, I don't have to worry about that for a while, because, yeah. So, hang on, let me show you, just in case I didn't, you didn't see before. That's, it's epic. It's, it's uh, shorter than me. Doesn't even go up to my shoulder, but I'm six foot, by the way. Uh, but this is awesome. This is wood, by the way. Uh, but, yeah, so <laughs> it does feel nice to have a new DVD shelf. Um, I got this on Amazon, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, I got all three of these on Amazon, actually. This one's bigger, as you can tell. This is my big one, and I got these two smaller ones. And then hopefully one day when I get a place of my own, I can get another one of these big ones. Um, but yeah, it, it feels really nice to have another shelf. This thing was a pain in the butt to put together. And this took me, like, all day, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, because I put it together wrong, and I had to take it apart and put it back together. I am not a handyman. <laughs> but let's go ahead and get into our DVD updates. So, I went out the other day, and I bought two David Fincher films that I've never seen before, but that I would really like to watch. The first one is The Social Network. Now, here's the thing. I hate Mark Zuckerberg. I think he's a terrible person. But, I've heard this is a great movie, and I'm sure his rise to, to power was very interesting, so I'm very excited to watch this movie. And I love David Fincher. I just think he's a master at what he does. And then... Eh. The other one I bought is The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Yeah, surprisingly, I have not seen this, um, but I love Daniel Craig. I love to miss James Bond so much. And uh, by the way, they're putting uh, No Time to Die back in IMAX. It should be back in IMAX now or on the January 30th, I believe, is when they're putting it back in IMAX. So if you missed a chance to go see it, go see it. Seriously. Um, support it. It's a great movie. And uh, yeah, um, very excited to watch this one as well. So those are my my only two dvds i have to update um just wanted to show off my new shelf and show that the background here has changed a little bit i've tweaked it a little bit um i don't think i have to move anything up here uh but i do want to put these vhs's back on display so let me do that now okay so yeah i have these are this is my whole vhs collection by the way in case you're wondering and they're in bags to keep dust off of them but uh at the year I'm living dangerously here. By the way, I despise this movie. It's just a VHS that I own. And Men in Black, love that movie. Air Force One, love that movie. Force 10 from Navarone. I thought I think this is okay, but I watched it when I was a kid. And this is, by the way, fun fact for you, this is the first movie I ever saw that had boobs in it. And I remember being very taken off guard by that when I was a kid, but I kind of liked it. And then I have Clear and Present Danger here. The Fugitive. These are, especially this one, these are really good movies. And I have a Darth Vader lightsaber. So yeah, that's uh, that's gonna do it for me here. Uh, just a short update, and I just want to show off my shelf. Uh, I have to stack up all my Funko Pop collection because they're all laying in a big pile here on the floor, and they've been doing that for a little while. So I'm gonna stack them up and display them here on the floor against the wall here, and uh, then I gotta put the tools away. <laughs> so uh, yeah, but 
thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, I look forward to a whole another year of collecting movies. Uh, <laughs> oh, it feels so nice to have this. It feels so nice. I'm going to put some, some paper towels on these shelves like I did. If you watched my videos last year, you saw that I did that. It just helps keep dust, like, off the surface of it so I don't have to dust it, like, every time. Cause, just because it's, it's less dusting I have to do. So, anyways. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, you know what? This is a puzzle. There. Breakfast Club puzzle. Put it right there. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Pie Player Entertainment for more. Hit the like button, leave me a review, suggest it down in the comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Pie Player Entertainment for channel updates and much love. Oh, and I totally forgot about these two. I have them above my head. Yeah. Phantom Mess and Jurassic Park. This is my favorite VHS. Just love it.